lot of experience on the floor tonight, Greg. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? Well, Kevin, guys are going to play smart, and they're going to be in position to make plays. So this who makes more of the big shots. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. At the guard position, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. And it's Lopez at the pivot spot, manning yes. the middle. And I can't think of a higher percentage look than that. Uh, Giannis, one of the best ever, working inside. Irving passes to Griffin. And a missed play. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Under the Kumbo finds Middleton. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Puts up a three. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Well, Kevin, he gave me some broad strokes regarding the game plan. He said we want to work the ball into the paint, high percentage looks, and then get to the foul line if we can. We'll see how they try to accomplish that throughout the game. Kevin? Thanks, David. Shots good by Middleton. And this is what Middleton does. Hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. It's Harden with the drive, and good that time. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now here is Holiday. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Over Durant. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Pulls up. And too long on the shot. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Holiday against Harden. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. And his first shot of the game, no good. And Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Outside Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing deep with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. And the Bucks with possession here, following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. Here's Middleton. It's hauled in by Harris. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Moving against DiVincenzo. For three, Durant. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And that one's good yes. by Giannis. Giannis has got his third basket of the night. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Nets. Trailing by five. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, you see, if you're going to foul him, you've got to wrap Kevin Durant up. He's too good at absorbing contact and finding a way to score. So for the Nets, Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Brown comes in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Mills in for James Harden. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo. Grayson Allen's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And George Hills subbed in for Drew Holiday. Now here's Allen. To the middle. Ripped away. It's stolen by Hill. 
It's stolen by Brown. And now it's Brown letting it go all the way. And Brooklyn with another turnover here. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that position. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Kevin Durant. Here's Hill. Got a piece of it. To the paint. And it's Brown that time on the assist from Harris. And that will tie this game up. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Hill. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And look at how well Aldridge utilizes his size. Reaching out and just batting away the shot. Harris's shot is off. Milwaukee's gone 2 of 2 from three-point range here in the first quarter. For the finish, and Hill throws it down. This is a quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now here is Hill. Pass to Connaughton. Passes to Allen. Six to shoot. Off target with his three. Brooklyn's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Mills passes to Alton. Back to Mills. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. A nice shot by Harris. Well, he is tailor-made for the catch-and-shoot game. Joe Harris, a knockdown shooter. Hill with it. Picked up by Harris. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. James Johnson checked in for the Nets. For your next. Hill deciding where to go with it. Free throw line jump shot. They get it again. Portis tries again, and he sinks the layup. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And then Johnson with the dunk. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves them just fine. Middleton right side over Johnson. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Brooklyn ahead, up by one. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. on this team, but Kyrie Irving knows he's always got the green light. Coach just wants me to be aggressive, uh, you know, to set the tone early in the game, and, you know, that kind of sets up all my teammates and uh, sets the standard for the rest of the game and how I want the, the game to go. Agreed, and for an NBA defense, few more scary, Greg, than Kyrie Irving with his foot on the gas. Yeah, because he doesn't just score on you. When he gets in that mode, Irving can make you look silly. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Nets. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Bill's out there with Brown. Then it's Joe Harris. Then there's Paul Millsap. And it's Johnson in at the power forward. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. He's one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. 
Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Kyrie Irving, he's checked in for Joe Harris. And James Harden has subbed in for Patty Mill. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for Chris Middleton. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Drew Holiday in for Hill. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching and development can oftentimes do both. And that one, good. And it's a four-point Bucks lead. And, and Giannis knows how to compete. He knows you got to fight for those second-chance opportunities. And he gets it back. And it's the Bucks on the break. Second chance shot. Here's Holiday. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And the Bucks lead by six. Here's Harden. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And this is hard especially one of the best in the league at drawing contact and yet is still able to convert. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And last season, 86% from the line. So he's always had that calm presence at the line no matter the situation. Griffin's check in for Brooklyn. Durant comes in for Brown. Here's Holiday. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. And a key part, of course, of Harden's game lately is rebound. Right, because his ability to rake and take, get out and transition, make great decisions on the fly, it puts so much pressure on the defense. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. DiVincenzo against Harden takes a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Nets trail by five. Outside, Millsap. Back to Irving. From deep. And the Nets miss again. Milwaukee's gone three or four from long range in the game. Here's Holiday, and Holiday throws it down. And the passing skills of Giannis continue to improve. His floor awareness has grown through the years. Now, here is Harden. He's got five. And, and they continue to control the glass. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his first foul. The Nets making a switch here. Aldridge is checked in. Lamarcus Aldridge. Holiday against Harden. There's the lob at the combo. Throws down the alley oop slam. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley oop jams look easy. Harden the pass to Aldridge. Back to Harden. Outside Durant. Let's it go from the wing. Good on the bucket. Durant's got seven points in the game. Kevin Durant does such a good job of reading the defense and attacking any weakness he might anticipate. And Holiday, here we go. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Blake Griffin. Wes Mills in for James Hart. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connington. There's the pass to Claxton. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. And for a big guy, Aldridge is so agile. I mean, lets him work that play there to perfection. Bucks leading by nine. Outside Holiday. Irving against DiVincenzo. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. KD on the wing. He has seven. We've got 113 left in the first half. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Middleton the pass to Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide open teammate, Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. Lopez with the ball. Picked up by Aldridge. Here's DiVincenzo. Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Here's the three. Ball's not loose. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Some changes for Brooklyn. Johnson, he's checked in for Aldridge. Joe Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Bruce Brown in for Irving. And then for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Allen comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Well, George Hill drops the hammer near the cup. Nicely done. Johnson, the pass to Mills. It's stolen by Hill. And now the fast break. Hill with the ball. And the basket is good. Hill's got his third bucket of the night. And with the pace of today's game, transition defense is at a premium. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Launches it. Rebounded by the Bucks. There's the lob at the combo and the dunk by Giannis. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends and you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. And so it's Milwaukee, sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Their transition game has been in full effect. We'll return shortly. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 16 points, two block shots, and two assists. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. And, and that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back, Kevin Harlan. Go. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Enda Dekumbo in this one, he's been everywhere. 
Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. On the court for the Bucks, longtime teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forwards. At the guard position, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's... Oh. 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 An amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. One on one here. And the slam dunk by Hans Takumbo. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. And it's Durant missing. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And last season, Middleton adding to his game. Played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers for him. And again, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo's got 22 points. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's Irving. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his third assist on the night. And for Middleton, he is not the primary ball. Forward, but Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And, and capable of playing the point forward if needed. Make, just make smart, simple plays. Great option to initiate the offense to kind of give you a different look. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Here is Harden. He's got five. Inside. And Griffin slams it in. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Bucks leading by 16. Down low. Here's Yachts. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got 24. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Knocked loose. Harden the pass to Harris. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. KD against Zandakumbo. Just five on the clock. KD can't get it to go. Outside Holiday. There's the lob at the Kubo. Yes. An emphatic LU jam. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Paul Millsap's checking for Blake Griffin. Coming onto the floor for your next Paul Millsap. On the wing, Giannis. Defended by Durant. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Inside. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Harris finds Milsa. Lopez with the block. Oh, the long arms of Brook Lopez effortlessly sends that back. Look from Holiday. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Holiday's got 10 points. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. LaMarcus well, Aldridge has checked in for the Nets. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis has checked in. Now, here is Irving. To stop the run. Great D that time from Portis. 
I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Holiday, the pass to Ana Kumbo. Over Harris, and a great move by Giannis. Giannis has got 32 points. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the score. He's put this offense on his back. Irving can't get it to go. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Here's Giannis in the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Watch out. Antetokounmpo might be soft-spoken, but he's got a mean streak when it comes to attacking the hoop. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And no doubt Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Some changes for Brooklyn. Boy Griffin, he's checked in for Aldridge. And it's Durant in for Paul Millsap. Milwaukee also making some changes. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Grayson Allen comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And George Hills subbed in for Drew Holiday. They could use a bucket. Harden. And the layup falls. Seven points for James Harden. And one of the most creative scores the league has to offer. Harden specializes in sinking those tough shots. Here's Hill with the drive. And the rejection by Harden. Here's Allen. Middleton against Harris. They shoot again. And it's laid up and in by Middleton. The night right there. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And then Durant with the jam. Let's go ahead and get up Kevin Durant, former MVP, punching it home. Pass to Connaughton. Allen outside. Pass to Middleton. Takes the three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Three. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Irving with the ball. Picked up by Portis. And the slam by Blake Griffin. A really heads up play by Kyrie Irving. On time and on target pass. We've seen that before. Middleton with it. 11 points in the game. And there's the call on Durant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Eleven seconds left to play in the third. Here's Middleton, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Middleton's got 13. Yeah, Middleton is a talented scorer from anywhere on the floor. Goes to the paint and does his thing. Durant, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And you have to credit their defense for the job they've been doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. Back to the action after this word. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And Brooklyn has possession. Embry out there with Mills. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Brown. And it's Claxton and at the center filling out the middle. So that's the Nets five. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Passes it to Connaughton. Allen surveying the D. Middleton with it. Johnson's there. And it's blocked by Brown. 
Now Johnson. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Hill passes to Portis. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Well, terrific use of the pick and roll. George Hill outstanding at manipulating the passes. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Nets. Here's Johnson, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and really keeping the ball hopping ball. around here offensively. Ojale is checked in for Chris Middleton. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken advantage. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. The finish and the slam dunk by Johnson. Ooh, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stop. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Hill has the open look. Milwaukee the rebound. And he gets the bucket. Portis has got four points now in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Connaughton passes to Portis. Mills with the steal. Brown with the bounce pass. Off the left rim and out. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. And it's blocked, and they get it back. Fires the three. No good from Connaughton. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Mills. Mills has got assist number eight now on the night. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Timeout. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Outside Holiday. The rebound by the Nets. Here's Durant. And it's sent back by Lopez. The pass to Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley oop through. And the action on hold as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. The Nets making a switch here. Aldridge has checked in. Marcus Aldridge. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds that time. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Wara checked in, and Ami Takumbo subbed in for Chris Middleton. And here is Lopez. Lock at six, the tray, a three-pointer is right on target. Lopez has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Irving surveying the floor from deep three-point range. And again, it's the Nets missing. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Antetokounmpo passes to Nora. 
And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. And he's good on the three ball. Well, Hart is the right option here. He has zero hesitation as a shooter. There's 1.54 left to play in the final quarter. Here's DiVincenzo, power down with both hands. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Pass to Griffin, kicks it out to Harden, fires from deep. Warrod grabs the board. Milwaukee's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. And a new group in for the Nets. Johnson, he's checked in for Griffin. Brown comes in for Harris. Bembry's checked in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Carter in for James Harden. Shemi Ojale's checked in for the Bucks. Outside, on to Kumbo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. His first foul. Team second. Shooting for Milwaukee. Thanasis Antetokounmpo. No good on the free throw. And a new group in for the Nets. Paul Millsap's checked in for Johnson. Joe Harris comes in for Bruce Brown. James Harden, he's checked in for DeAndre Bembry. And Irving subbed in for Carter. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Milwaukee. There was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And you know, when you look at the huge That's impact the he had, just a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. He doesn't need a lot of daylight. Stretches the defense night in and night out. Here's DiVincenzo. Moves back up. And terrific work on the offensive glass and he picks up two. But the truth is they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. And he recovers it. Even Chenzo passes to Nora. And out of bounds is Brooklyn Gage possession. And here are the Nets. On the wing, Harris. In the corner, Irving with it. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Well, draped all over him, in fact. The level of concentration by Kyrie Irving, magnificent. Well, this one is winding down now. Milwaukee can watch the clock run out. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The first free throw is good. Jordan Yeah, the line with two shots. Both shots good from the stripe. There's 14 seconds left in the game. Back to Harris. From deep. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Here is Hill. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.